Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for the interaction with Mr. Pranav Gupta. Mr. Pranav Gupta is a humanitarian and entrepreneur and a visionary made significant contribution to the advancements of the Indian education industry by striving to promote cutting edge education and learning. Um, so, hello, welcome Mr. Pranav sir. How are you? Thank yeah, you. Hi, Rishabh. Uh, yeah, hi, Rishabh. It's a pleasure being with you today and look forward for the interaction. Uh, thank you for joining us sir we have a few interesting questions for you and we definitely want to look a deep inside and your expertise on it so my first question for you is how is ai influencing education sector sir so let's talk about about the pros and cons of ai in education uh so rishab that's a great question and uh, it's a question which is on everybody's mind and uh, uh to start off in the context of the education sector i may just say that uh, it uh, is very futuristic it is uh, very disruptive as ai is developing and evolving uh so some of the some of the uh, let me start off by mentioning some of the applications which are applicable uh in the education sector so uh, in my mind uh, the first major application of ai in the education sector is in personalized education and tutoring so we all know that when we are in a classroom and uh, when we are being taught and a bunch of students are being taught by a teacher there are certain students uh, which can't catch up which have special needs and the same teacher is teaching the same curriculum and giving the same class but uh, some students need to catch up so the, the, it's there's a huge application in terms of personalized tutoring where ai can help solve these needs of uh, certain students to catch up and hence bring them at par uh, with other uh, great students uh, ai can really record outcomes of great students and uh, teach the ones which need catch up in terms of honing up their skills their education level so it's a, it's a great personalized tutor and that's i think that's a great application uh, in the context of the company where i'm a co-founder jambori we coach for the gmat gre sat tofel and some of these exams which are required to uh be taken by students to go abroad and we often see that uh you know there's certain students which need special hand holding in terms of problem solving question answers etc and that's where i feel that ai can really uh up the curve so that's that's one area where it has a lot of uh, focus uh secondly in terms of producing smart content we've already seen how online uh the online platform has gathered momentum it has gained gathered a lot of attraction and covid was a big disruptor so it can produce some very smart digital lessons uh it can you know one of the problems with online was that people were not finding it very immersive right so one would say that oh i'm got right. bored just being on the uh, computers or your smartphones etc so iphone has the real capability in terms of making this experience uh, in form of a visual form in terms of making very uh, simulated uh, to a different level and literally uh, get the classroom to your home so uh, so it can really produce these outcomes where online education can be transformed and as you know that online trans education has a huge reach and uh, in a country like india where uh, uh, we want to get education to the poorest where one out of four kids out of high school go to university online education is a chamber in that context i feel ai could be a real big changer in terms of bringing a more immersive uh, classroom for students so that students feel satisfied on the online platform uh, from a teacher's perspective ai helps because a lot of times you need to give feedback you need to grade you need to assess and uh, you need to reply and often it takes time so ai can do that pretty quickly and uh, giving feedback to students at the right time giving the right feedback can ex be extremely extremely important uh, it can ensure access to uh, students who have special needs so if you have and, and this is uh, kind of uh, a link to uh, the personal tutoring aspect which i mentioned earlier mm -hmm. that students who have special needs uh, uh, who are disabled uh, speech hearing etc and ai can 
kind of the algorithms of AI can bring in a personalized tutoring, personal help to uh, special disabled children. Uh, it is great from a translation perspective. As you know, India is a large country and uh, we have so many different regional languages. And you must have heard in the new national education policy, a lot of importance at the primary education level now has been given in the policy to your local language. And so it's, it's going to be amazing to have content, which is right now a lot of the content uh, of education in schools in the Hindi and uh, English, and that could be really translated. So it's going to be, it's really beneficial for translation, which could help learning outcomes, which could help children learn. Because it's now been proven that at a young age at the primary school level, if you learn in your primary language, your outcomes at uh, middle school and higher school uh, can be uh, very different. It's 24 by 7 learning. So uh, it's, it's, got, it's going to be really transformational for the education sector. Also, uh, lastly, I must just say that uh, while it helps personalized tutoring, it helps the online platform in many ways, it also would help in testing. And uh, uh, a lot of our exams, for example, for which we coach at Jamboree, now are happening on the online mode. And uh, they, they are assisted by AI tools in which there are cameras, and uh, you you can give the test sitting at home, so you need not need not go to a physical center. And AI can quickly detect if there's any kind of suspicious activity, etc. And uh, that has also disrupted the whole testing process in scale in mass has also been disrupted. So huge, uh, huge, huge benefits and huge disruption uh, happening in the education sector in my mind. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. As we move along, we're going to be seeing. Uh, a lot of developments going on. Thank you for your answer, sir. My next question for you is these days, chat GPT is being widely used uh, by organizations, agencies, and freelancers. Do you think chat GPT may be a good source of information in the education sector? And how do you suggest people to use it for the benefit tool uh, as a benefit tool for the education? So that's a great question again and a uh, very relevant question at this time and this chat GPT is now uh, really the talk of the town. Uh, so if you really understand what chat GPT is and uh, what their algorithms do, uh, it's basically a search engine, right? And it uh, searches the internet and tries through AI and uh, algorithms to kind of give you solutions. But in that context, I must say that uh, it's very very good for text generating jobs uh so an example could be if you could just write that uh you know, could you just send an email to this person it would do that and uh or a report writing if you just say that look uh can you send me a report on uh you know some trends in education in the 21st century so it's good on writing emails report writing text writing paragraphing summarizing so it's extremely good and very helpful because uh, if, if in traditional times, uh, the other, other way to do is to either go uh, to a physical library, research and get that information, or you could Safari, you could Google, uh, get to links. So this could save time. This could really save times in getting data information in a very systematic, uh, methodical way. But it has huge uh, uh, limitations in terms of uh, analytical capability, uh, it has limitations at, at the present. I can I can only comment on where it is now in mathematical calculations, yes. problem solving, etc. And uh, from an education perspective, uh, when you talk about a student, which is learning, uh, it's good to get information. It's good to do repetitive tasks. But a lot of development of a human mind is also problem solving, critical thinking, analyzing, mathematical analysis. So that's where uh, one should avoid uh, using uh, this platform and this application. Uh, so it's good from a repetitive uh, perspective, text generating perspective, getting data, which is more systematic and more organized, but uh, uh, not very good for uh, critical thinking, problem solving, which is very, very important for the development of any individual in terms of soft skills, in terms of success and future successes uh, in life. So, uh, and, and as you know that there are no boundaries 
and there's not too much regulation so this is a, this has to be really used very in a very sensitive manner and in a very careful manner uh with a lot of uh, responsibility with the individual uh to balance uh, the chat gpt in terms of what you're using for so my next question for you sir is with ai in education we broadly understand that education tools have become quite techy students are most mostly engaged about online education so what impact does it have on on the offline mode of education or should it go hand to hand so that's a great question and uh, let me start off by saying that uh, the advent of online education really came into the forefront during covid and online education it's to be important we saw the real value of online education because uh, during covid during a pandemic which has not happened in the last 100 years if online education was not there imagine a couple of generations of people would not have been educated so so first of all let me not undermine the value of online education the importance of ai which is going to come in online education as we moving forward to make the experience more immersive and with metaverse coming in getting virtual classrooms to home so it's important but let me also tell you that for a child's development or any individual development whether you're in school whether you're in uh, college whether you're in university uh, whether you're doing post doc etc online education is not the only way to supplement your skills so it has to go hand in hand there's a lot of learning which happens while you meet people physically there's a lot of learning which happens when you interact with students students interact with each other students interact with faculty uh, students interact with other aspects of society for example at ashoka and plaksha university where we are founders uh, there's a lot of stress on experiential learning so experiential learning is something which is actually done in labs you actually go into labs you do more of lab work uh you do less of classroom whether it's online or offline and trust me 20 years down the road, there's been studies now that 20 years 30 years down the road when an individual is like uh way past their college days university days what is left in their mind is more experiential learning than the online or the classroom learning so an experiential learning very important project based learning very important uh at plaksha university which champions technology and how technology can be used to solve real world challenges a uh, lot of lot of our students do lot of project work based at uh, the university our university is basically a running lab uh so whether we are championing health whether we are championing energy whether we are championing climate change we first we first have students do it then in campus and that's an amazing immersive experiential experience so uh, while online education is great it has its own advantages it uh, solves it eliminates a lot of time uh with ai it has lot more personalized tutoring uh it has quick responses but in my sense the way to go is a combination of online uh, and offline tutoring we just can't take away the experiential learning aspect of meeting humans interacting with them learning with them in terms of evolving ourselves as individuals as part of a society thank you for your answer sir uh, my one last question for you is so ai has been recently introduced to the education sector so it is definitely new for the students but i believe it is also new for the universities so as a founder of a university what are your views on how universities are adopting towards the ai and how they are accepting it and how they are you know adapting to it so uh, again good question so let's look at what we do in universities right so one aspect of universities is the teaching aspect right and uh, the teachers go and teach a bunch of students so there as i mentioned earlier uh, universities are designing personalized tutoring programs because you know the teacher comes gives a lecture and some people catch some people don't so people have special needs so that's one area on the teaching side uh, ai has great applications on the personal tutoring front uh in terms of just in terms of tut just in terms of analysis analysis of your uh examination papers the speed at which a teacher can come back to a student with doubt clearing doubt session so this is a whole domain in which universities are finding ai very useful 
in terms of conducting examinations for example the old uh, thought school was uh, examinations happening teachers running up and down so the ai has made it very very simpler so from an administration teaching perspective uh, universities are slowly adapting though i must say that the speed is not as much but we are waking up to it uh, we are acknowledging the role it plays in personalized tutoring the role it plays in uh, examinations the role it plays in evaluation so all these three roles we are evaluating very very clearly the other aspect of universities like ashoka plaksha research so uh, it has ai has great applications in terms of research and uh, imagine a phd doc who's doing research he needs tons and tons of data and and a lot of times a research uh, project or a research uh, uh, theory is akin to a certain problem the research is trying to establish so imagine the ai tools or the ai apps uh, can immediately give you the entire updating account of what's happening in that area at that present moment which is very very difficult for a normal research to get anyway so this has huge this will have huge applications for research in terms of getting access to updated updated data in that particular field uh, which they are working on in terms of uh, quick analysis in terms of speed and uh, the end result is going to be a better outcome in terms of research papers thesis to solve uh, a global challenge the third area is the universities are finding it uh, ai very useful is the campus itself so uh, we are incorporating tools in terms of face recognition so uh, uh, you don't need to really uh, have id cards and swipe them and uh, uh, so face success face recognition so lot of other areas the whole campus experience so i'm going to say that right from uh, the teachers personalized tutoring research campus experience is all uh, gaining traction though uh, the changes flow we are adapting to it and uh, but definitely it's right up there and uh, uh, you're going to see in the next 10 15 years uh, the landscape across universities going to change very very dramatically thank you for this uh, that's the last question from my end sir thank you for this uh, insightful introduction um, have a good day thank you so much it was a pleasure talking to you look forward for more interactions thank you very much absolutely sir looking forward to it too thank you